New at 5, Hines County Sheriff Tyree Jones is now pleading for peace amongst the county board members. Several times over the last year, disruptions and chaos have gotten in the way of their elected duties. 12 News' Anna Farish spoke with the sheriff on his intentions. She joins us now live. Anna? Well, Melanie Byron, we've seen the outbursts from Hines County board members, President Creedell Calhoun and Supervisor David Archie. After stepping in last week and calling for a recess, Sheriff Tyree Jones says enough is enough. Back and forth arguments, destruction of property, and even arrests have been made inside the Hines County board meetings. Most disagreements circle around who will be president and vice president of the board. Yesterday, Sheriff Tyree Jones delivered a letter to board members pleading for peace and order during the meetings. He says after seeking counsel from the county attorney, he's named Creedell Calhoun president and Vernon Gavin vice president until it can be settled in court. I just want the people to see that we can work collectively together to maintain order and to handle county business. It's not a letter of demand. It's a letter of asking for the peace. But at the same time, it's a letter also stating my role as it relates to the peace of the court building and my duties and my obligations as well. President Creedell Calhoun says he agrees with the letter, stating meetings should always be about the people first. How, how could you be against keeping order? Nobody should be against keeping order in the boardroom because you have to have order to, to do business uh, for the county and the people of Hines County. In a statement from Supervisor David Archie, he says he's the lawful president and not the sheriff or the board attorney has the authority to say otherwise. Sheriff Jones says he remains neutral in the matter and he's operating directly from his interpretation of the breach of peace code. The Sheriff Jones says he is prepared to honor any decision made by the court for who's becoming president or vice president in the future. He also states in that letter that anyone who does not comply will be removed, detained, or possibly arrested in future meetings. For 12 News, I'm Anna Farish.